Hello, this is Caroline Jerrywalla Mango Mosex, and I'm at Debbie's house. This is Debbie. <laughs> and what we're doing today is a little bit of rectification on this area here. So she's done a beautiful job putting random pieces of crockery on the wall. But what we have to do now is the rest of the wall, which is quite long, as you can see here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to cut up, we're going to do a lot of drawing lines, we're going to do a flowing line all the way along here, and then we are going to apply and then grout it. But not today, we'll grout another time. So this is Caroline Joyola, Mango Mosaics. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So speak to you soon, bye. Well, on part two on how we're going to sort out and continue the wall. So what we're doing now is we're going to score snap these reject plates and what we're doing is we're using a Silberschnitt carbide glass cutter. It's got a tiny little wheel you see and it's perfect for scoring. So what we first do, now of course we've got undulation so it might not work to the area we want but by drawing a line using a felt tip we know exactly where it's going to go so we're scoring did you hear that scoring sound we'll do that again a close up nice shadow on you <laughs> and then we use a score snapper to snap it so we do the other scored line here and that clean is a nice clean line that way the other way of doing it is using the side biter that I've used before and you can find that on my YouTube other YouTube films on how to cut but this would be an easier way of cutting so you've got the curved end facing it and you're just using a little bit under half of the tile nipper just to cut it that way we're not smashing up tiles we're nipping them and then what we're doing then is when we're shaping them like so so that we've got a nice same depth of line to make a pretty pattern we need to do a pretty pattern And of course the curve of the plate will then describe the curve that we want. So that's how we're going to continue the line and perhaps a little bit of situation there. So this is Caroline Jerrywell of Mango Mosaics and we will install in a minute I should think. <laughs> the right button, yeah. Okay, so Mango Mosaics again, part three of the installation. So what we've got here, if Debbie, if you could pan over here, we've got, we could plan out how we're going to do our curve of the ceramic pieces. But what I've got is a bunch from um, back to front. Now, as you can see on the wall here, we've got a whole row of ones already done. But we're using a caulking glue, Evo stick, Sticks, sticks, sticks line. You know, we don't talk about that. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're just putting a, a blob on on each one. Now, this is an external glue, so you're not worrying. Don't freak out, America. It's fine. It will be fine. And, um, and actually, this isn't a retaining wall, so they won't pop, pop, they won't fall off. And then what we do, we just squeeze them on. And hopefully, if they do glue on, if they don't glue on, then we put an extra bit of glue here, like so. And then we squeeze it on, like so. And what we're doing is, we put a, a silver line, a rough silver guideline, of how we're going to flow the line. And we could turn it round if we're not happy with it, so that we've got more or less the area now as you can see that's a bit that doesn't stick because we've got the 
mortar in the way. So then we'll put quite a bit of a blob there. We'll clean it up after, of course. And then we'll glue it on like so. And it's quick as you like, really. You see, that line, I think, uh, that's not very, very curved. So you turn it round, quick as you like. And then we could have a, a more of an extreme line going that way. And then we can rearrange everything, of course, and add and embellish. So that's basically it. Um, we're going to rearrange all of this, of course, but this was there to demonstrate. So Caroline Jerry, well, mango mosaics. Pink in it, not that. Why? Blue. That has got blue in. So here we are on the last section of uh, the section that our Debbie did and basically um, Daniela, Daniela? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dan Daniel and Debbie, Daniel and Debbie, mother and daughter situation are doing the infilling of the area and what we've been doing is mixing up a little batch of ready mix, well not ready mix tile adhesive, mix mixing up a batch of tile adhesive and then popping it onto the section like like icing and then infilling quick as you like from all the bits and bits bits and pieces we've cut up so that is um i don't know section three or four of the situation that we're doing so uh we'll catch up in a minute but oh hang on you haven't seen the rest have you here's the rest flower heads and bigger flower head here and a little undulation of line sort of thing yeah and then it goes on and on and on and on <laughs> all the way to the back or the front so here's how we suss out and doing a Dr. Mosaic. This is Dr. Mosaic, Caroline Joa, Mango Mosaics. Find me on Twitter, Instagram and all that rubbish. See you. Bye. Okay, it's Mango Mosaics. Um, the last furlong of the project so far. Whoops. And uh, what we've done so far is patched up some areas. And then we've got edging all the way around and we're just doing a final clean up and just sorting out all the edging and filled in a lot of the area so you can see what we've done here and we've got this here with all the bits and bobs <laughs> and that's Debbie all tidied up. She's very happy. Are you happy? Very happy. Very, very good. Happy, very, They're one happy, very happy customer. So we've just infilled this. We've just mixed up tile adhesive, applied it on flat onto the surface, and with ready made broken bits of crockery, applied it on because it's instant grab and it's an external tile adhesive. So if it does rain, it's not going to fall off. So it's got a little detail here, look. A little back stamp -ness -ness. So this is Caroline Jerriwana and Debbie Bissell saying over and out to you. And we'll see you when we grout up Hi. and finish off. Okay then, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Just close up of that.